next time. Oh, yes, we shall. Right, now to continue in and see what is going on in this room. And yes, I am doing this for YouTube. Mm. Of course, this is being live streamed as well. So, bada bing, bada boom. It's nice, smooth jazz. What is this? Is this... Ooh, I... Oh! And it's now popped into existence. I like little puzzles like this. These are the type of puzzles I shine with. Come with me! Little cube. You shall no longer be little. You shall be the biggest cube we have ever seen in the history. That might be a bit too big now. Unless I can get another cube to jump on top. I can get another cube to jump on top of it. But where's the extra? Where's the thing to make sure that I can do it? Where art thou? Hmm. Because once again, it's all about perspective. Hmm. Is it new? Da, 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 da. Ooh, wait a minute, is it here? No, that looks like a flower, maybe? So, no, that doesn't really work. That's painted on the freaking side. What am I needing? Am I going to have to use this as well? I don't know. This might be where we have our first little bit of I'm not sure what we do typing. Hmm, yes. Oh, 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 oh. No, that didn't work. <gasps> Is it this over here? Yep. Yeah. That looks strange. I like it though. We don't have a t ah. There we are. That's what we needed to do. And it moves you back into position as well. If you manage to mess up, which is something I seem to like to want to do as well. Wait a second. There's only a corner. I don't care because I made it still anyway. Thank God for being able to just jump up these. I'm bringing this with me. Hello, Exit Chan. Oh, is that an exit? That is an exit. Oh, my word. And I've taken this door off of the uh, of its hinges. Fantastic. I love it. Brain juices are freaking running 100% today. Maybe they will have a little bit of dirt there, but shh. It is very trippy. Very trippy, uh, Sterling. And we're getting this done for the YouTubes as well. I had an email yesterday from Terminal saying, Oh, hey, you got it. have you covered this yet? I was like, yeah. No, I haven't, actually. <gasps> I should. Yeah, I should indeed. And thus, I shall cover it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. Thank you, Glenn. But please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. I am very thankful, Glenn, for reminding me that I'm completely lost all the time. And hello there, Hal. I hope you're doing good as well. Welcome to Superliminal, which I've had to say, Perspective Simulator. But it's pretty much the same sort of thing. It's very trippy, it's very good, and I am enjoying myself immensely right now. I need to figure out how to do this bit here. <gasps> here we are. And... Oh, we're missing a little an extra thing here as well. Mm. There is something, because this needs to obviously have that there. Wait, wait, I just saw that. There we go, we got ourselves a cube. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm also on the final stage now for my Zodiac weapon. What I gotta do is get the Mahatma, whatever it's called, which I'm very excited for. Boom! There. Wait a minute, I see there's this bit there, but there's also a door up there too. What can we do to get to that door? I'd like to get in that door, please. Can I even get into said door from here? I didn't want to make it tidy! 
I want to make it big. I want to make it a big boy like me. <laughs> Your brain may hurt watching it. How do you think my brain feels playing it? My brain is getting destroyed, my friend. Oh, wait, can I not jump on this? I can jump on this! Yeah. <laughs> What's this way? Find the nook in optical. Mm. <gasps> There's a dice here. What does this dice do? Apart from be a dice. I don't know. Oh, we have extra things. Dices and prizes and all sorts of things. Do I do anything with this dice? Can I do anything with this dice? Did I roll? I rolled a... A one! Oh, very nice. Wait, can I combine this with that and I can do something? Hmm... Maybe... I doubt it. I'm probably overthinking things. Eh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you bring it sort of closer to you, it shrinks it. If it's further away, it gets bigger. It's very weird and strange and I love it! But I hope we're having a good day today, because uh, I am doing pretty as swanky myself. I'm actually thinking of diving onto some Final Fantasy XIV later as well, which I do look forward to doing. <laughs> because it's been a while and I got me a bit of little, you know, gold I want to do in it. Ooh, hello Dr. Glenn Pierce, how are we doing today? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Thank you, Glenn. I completely trust him because he's a doctor. And if he wasn't educated and couldn't get a doctorate, why would you trust him? There's no reason not to trust him. Ah, expert fire alarm is because I pulled enough fire alarms. It's one of the things we have to do. Hey, where are we right now? Oh, there's another fire alarm. Excuse me. Thank you. Now, what does this clock say? Nothing. Okay. Clock is right. Wait a minute. Oh, God, yes. I remember because I have seen a YouTube video just before myself as well. I can play through from ages ago, but it wasn't the whole thing. So, this is what I distinctly remembered. Yes, you can take the moon out of the sky. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Okay. As I said, he's a doctor, thus he knows what he's saying. Okay. There we are. Ooh. I'm gonna take this room. In fact, no, most important thing, we have cheese. Which there is cheese on the moon. Thus, this cheese is coming with us. Did that make your brain hurt? <laughs> it made my brain hurt. What if there's a fire in elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Beer funds, five dollars. Five dollar reduce. Dakota. Don't get lost. I am making my way to the exit. Yeah. Oh, there's another fire alarm which I did not press. We must press it. Wait. Oh, the moon's there. Can I? Oh no, the moon just goes wherever I want to put the moon. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I'll just put the moon up there. It, it's all good. Seize the day. Others on the school resorts are waiting for you. I saw something about pardon the French there and I went, wait, wait why is the loading bar going down? Okay. We have definitely entered the realms of the weird now. It's now 4 a.m. It was 3 a.m. originally. Helping us news. Ah. 
We're still in sweet A. I'd like to be in sweet B. Maybe even sweet G or sweet A. It seems like they're the better ones. There's also this private one here too, but I don't know. We can jump. Ooh, these are different colour. These were red before, now they're brown. But why though? What is all this made? Dream soda, I want dream soda. Can I have red soda, please? What, what a soda? Mini soda? I only have the one soda can! I don't want that! What does this say? Da, 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 da. Are these the terms of services again? I don't know, I can't see it. It's hard to read. No zoom option, I don't... I can't let you zoom in my eyes. How to... Let it? Maybe? It's hard to tell. I can't tell! Guess my dyslexia! This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who mm. have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. But Beatrice, why? Wait, I mean, what's this? What is that? Um. What the monkey balls? This is this. I just noticed this. It's like, okay, where does this take me to? What is this? This feels like a secret. Ooh, this is pretty. I like it. I saw the shiny, thus I must go. The infinite cosmos is before us. But, wait. Oh my god, if I put the moon with me, could I put could I put the moon in there? I'm going back for the moon. Now. Moon, moon, moon. I can't go back for the moon! The moon is gone! The moon is gone! Oh, I just remembered that. We're in a different place. I don't know if there's anything special to do in that one. It, it was like an empty. I couldn't see anything to interact with. But I did also make a very, very tiny door earlier. Curators only. Curators? But I'm not a curator. I'm a client. <gasps> this also reminds me of Stanley pa Wait a minute, is this a place I can go down? No. No, I can't. Perception is reality. Your friendly daughter. P.S. We'll get through this. March 1991. Okay. Perception is reality. Oh, there's the dice. Reading. Oh, most important thing. Thank you, Mr. Dice. That's the exit sign. Off to the exit we go. It does remind me a bit of Stanley Parable, but also Portal, obviously, and a few other things as well. Hey ho, here we go. Hi, Mr. Dice. Wait a minute, that seems like a place we can go into, maybe. Wait, that's a half a freaking dice. Why do I have half a dice? Is it because I can go up there, maybe? <gasps> Please tell me I can. Fire alarm. Or maybe it's because I need to use two bits. <gasps> two sides of the same dice? Oh my god, this game is just full of puns. It does seem like there's something up there, though. There is. There's definitely something up there. There is. I can see. I can interact with something up there, too. I'm just being a dumb dumb. Oh, no. Come on. Be big up. Behave. No. Behave. There we are. Dude, I said behave. You're not behaving. I saw you. What could I do with you? It disappeared on me though. Not a secret. 
I gotta see that was some form of secret. <laughs> That's daddy. Nope. Get back here, sir. I don't want you to be too tiny. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, you are far too small. Oh, thank God. I thought that was a fire alarm! I'm very disappointed! Uh, what? Well, hey, what the? What the dickens? Oh no, it's this way. Ooh, that's a way to more sweets. Oh, cap. Well, I made a hole in the floor, so that's something, I guess. <gasps> wait, 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 though, because I can still bring these with me. Is there some sort of secret over this way? <gasps> there could be. By using this. It's so tiny. Can I put it in the bin? Oh, come on, go with the bin. That'd be hilarious. Look how small you can make things. I actually don't know what happened to it, but I think I did bin it. And I'm probably going to need that. I'm hopefully not. <laughs> but anyway, in the bin. Where the... Ooh, this is darkness. <laughs> Where do we go? What do we do? Got an idea. Wait a second. <gasps> Darkness. The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. I should have saved the sound effects. <laughs> Hello, Jandrix. Hello. I want some red soda, please. Yeah. Uh, beep. Is, that, is there actually anything up there, I wonder? Hey, that one is big. Hey, it's the next room. This is... Subliminal. A game all about perspective. So, uh, if you like to have your brain melted, this is a good game for that. It's a very good game for that. The dice are not formed correctly. Like, oh yeah, look, it's, it's actual dice, and then you get close, and it's like, my mind is melting! <laughs> my mind is melting all this time. Wait. If there is a fire, we must make sure no one can put it out. Because we're definitely going to burn this place when we're done with it. Wait, what, what the... Oh my word, what on earth? Okay. What's the point? Did it stop going further? I don't know if I'm supposed to do something with this or not. But clearly I am, but what exactly? Um. Uh... Are they supposed to all go to the ground and then I can like lift them up or something? 
Oh. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. Celebratory. A little bit of a squirt. It seems like there's secrets to do with these. Eh, maybe there isn't. Ah! No, I can't get back up. Hit me go! Lovely. But yes, indeed. It's kind of standing back. ...that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. That beer just tram, why? Oh, come on! This is just mean. Oh. How the hell am I gonna sort this one? Wait a minute. I have a cunning plan. Big brain moments. Yeah, that's just kind of the almost. There yeah, we are. Big brain moments. Like looking at all the bracketeers stuff as well from Monster the World. <gasps> Big brain moments. I want them. I need it for Gunlance. I just can't go for it just yet. But, but, but why? You were fine until I put you down. I'm actually going to make it over just this on the floor. I'm to change any of the sizes. Hup. Ooh. Crud. Okay, I need to change the size of at least one of these. Hup. Hup. Hip. Yeah. It's now to have a private room. They like rooms to be private. Oh. What? 